Do you miss Nikki? Tonight, the search for missing pinup model Nikki Burgess is becoming even more heated. A woman that neighbors say is actually the mother of the man Metro Police call a person of interest in this case is accused of tearing down missing persons posters. Tonight, Fox 17 is talking exclusively to the woman who shot that cell phone video you just saw. Fox 17's Megan O'Halloran joins us with the story. Well, Stacy, Nikki Burgess disappeared from her hermitage home more than a month ago. Metro Police say the model and mother of two is probably dead, and Nikki's ex-boyfriend, Caleb Cannon, is the only known person of interest. But the question tonight, is his mother interfering with the search? They called her a feisty redhead, the one who wouldn't back down. But all that friends and family have left of her are pictures and posters. Nicole Burgess disappeared May 23rd. Police searched her home, finding evidence suggesting murder. Unfortunately, uh, we're in the mode of thinking that we're uh, looking now for her body. We do not believe her to still be alive. Since then, police cleared the crime scene and are taking a look at Nikki's ex-boyfriend, Caleb Cannon. Cannon is the father of her youngest son. Police are now learning about a recent confrontation all caught on camera. Nikki's friends say the woman in this cell phone video is Cannon's mother. Uh-oh. She's coming to your side. Nikki's closest friends were driving around posting missing person flyers from Nashville to East Tennessee when they arrived in Anderson County. A minivan pulled up on the side of the road and a woman got out and started ripping down the flyers. What? We can't post these because we're missing our friend? No, you can't. No. Oh, well, yes, I can. Because I'm Who are you? I'll keep tearing them down. Who are you? Who are you? Because Do you miss Nikki? Go ahead, honey. I'll keep tearing them down. Good. You have fun doing that because I'll keep posting them all. I don't understand what kind of person doesn't want to find their grandchild's mother or clear their son's name since he's a person of interest. You would think that they would want to find Nikki. Police are still working to identify a second person of interest, someone a witness saw at Nikki's house the night she disappeared. But so far, no body's been found. No charges have been filed. Now, I actually talked to Sandra Cannon on the phone tonight. I wanted to ask her about that cell phone video, but she hung up on me and told me not to ever call her again. Megan O'Halloran, Fox 17 News.